So here we have Daphne phylum or Daphnephylum macropodum, uh, typically just referred to as Daphnephylum or Daphne phylum. Uh, but it's a beautiful kind of a hay stack uh, like shrub. This is dioecious, meaning two houses. They're separate male and female plants. Uh, you'll even hear people call this redneck rhododendron as kind of a, I, I don't know, that's kind of a derogatory name for a plant. Uh, but uh, you'll see hear people call it that. A broadleafed evergreen uh, that is gaining more and more favor throughout the nursery industry uh, because it's a great plant that you can use as a replacement for big broadleafed rhododendrons. Uh, now it doesn't bloom like a big broadleaf rhododendron does, uh, but the foliage does kind of stand in the place of some of those big broadleafed rhododendrons. And so and we're going to talk more about this coming a little bit closer and we'll talk a little bit about Daphnephylum. So again, Daphnephylum or Daphnephylum macropodum or just Daphnephylum. Uh, this is hardy from zones 7 through 9. Its native range is China, Korea, Japan. Getting about 15 to 25 foot high, 15 to 25 foot wide. Really an overall rounded appearance uh, to the plant. The leaves as we look at them closely, uh, long, stocky, leathery oblong to ob lanceolate leaves, five to 10 inches long and one to three inches wide. Uh, sometimes you'll see kind of showy-ish purple to red petioles on this plant. Uh, and that uh, has a little bit to do with sun exposure, uh, but you will see that on this plant. So if I was placing this plant in the landscape, I would plant it in at least afternoon shade. Uh, it does need a little bit of shade to really uh, thrive. Again, it's dioecious, there's both male and female plants. And so if you wanted to have fruit, uh, which I, I don't have to show you, but uh, you would need to plant more than one plant uh, to be able to produce fruit. The fruit is a grape-like uh, fruit that uh, is, turns purple in the fall time and is quite attractive. Here's a landscape tip. This is a rounded evergreen shrub that should be used more in southern lands landscapes.